I don't think so. We'll do either. another show. This is what we did. So, yeah. I don't have the master key. What I'm actually doing for this week's vlog. Obviously, with this disaster payment, it's wow. Well, I was like full on crying. Um. So good news. What are you gonna do? It's a matter of work still. On the road again. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I'm an Astoria. Well, I'm always <laughs> dribbling. <laughs> we are going. This is like the third video for the vlogging um, lockdown thing. And what we're doing today is um, we're going back home because we're at my parents, which is technically my house. Um, and then we're going back to where we've been quarantining pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so obviously um, we're doing a bit of a, well, I'm particularly doing a 45, F45 challenge, which means that we are, yeah, I'm just going to try and eat very well, train very consistently, part of the group obviously i'm the coach there so um yeah i'm gonna participate and yeah we're just gonna do shopping now and get home because you've got a performance he's got to do i've got to edit videos um and yeah i was gonna say hello welcome and hope you guys enjoy this vlog i was thinking we could get keep it simple i think they say k-i-s-s -S, keep it you mean keep it simple stupid is it that? Keep it simple, stupid. Yeah. All right. So we want to get sweet. Thing. We want to get sweet potato. Obviously, we're having that chippers pie thing. I don't give a shit. I'm making that still. Oh yes. That's that's healthy as far. It is. Um, we don't. Do we want any more crackers? Um. Uh, well, there was some at your house. Did you bring them? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we're that's good. Fine. All right. No sauce and all that. Um. We'll go with rice, corn chips, and that. No cheese. Um. We can make like beef stuff. Yep. Uh, yep. All right. No bread. No, 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 Salad, you good with yogurt and stuff? Nah, I can't. <sighs> I can't. I can't even do great yoga. I Jesus. tried that not long ago, and I was I felt fucking ill. Like I just nah. Chili. Oh, we use one. the sweet. Uh, yeah, we got. And then you got the coconut thing, and then you just need a tin of coconut and some peanut honey. butter. Yeah, honey. Yeah. Should we get all that today, or? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. We'll either. do another show. Okay, so this is our grocery haul. This is what we did when we went grocery shopping. So this is turkey mince. We're going to use that for shepherd's pie um, and also just um, our butter bowls and things like that. We also have chicken breast, which is just for our lunches, for salads, for anything else we decide to have. This is for Nate. He's having mixed berries. This is also fillets as well, some um, fish. Um, got some frozen ve veggies here. Um, we have kombucha. We're obsessed. This is um, haven't tried this one yet, but apparently, um, yeah, it's a better alternative than having like Coke Zero or anything. Always rice. We're obsessed with rice at the moment. Greek yogurt for our omelets and things like that. And we also have 
egg whites so this is really good to put in omelets it's also good to have in salads um we're gonna have tacos this is just for when we have tacos or butter bowls as well um sweet potatoes this is for when we have shepherd's pie tonight um crackers here this is what we got a couple of days ago so um yeah we don't know if we'll have that much of that um, I'll never, no matter if I'm doing a challenge or not, I'll never give up this chocolate. It's very good for you. Um, so obviously we've got two of these. Um, this is for lunches. So I'm going to try this one. I haven't tried it before. It's lemon and pepper. Is it going to zoom? Yeah. Lemon and pepper. So I haven't tried it. Hopefully it will taste good because the normal spring water doesn't taste good. He's got um, sweet chili. So you guys can see that. When's it going to? Anyway, that's not my ad, uh, that's for Nate. Um, we also got some cheese we brought back from my house. So obviously, you know, we only put a little bit in that. This is Nate's, he's got lectures free. Um, two avocados, because they're on special. We can put them in salads. We also got hummus as well from my house. Um, we, with this, we're gonna have like carrots and cucumbers with that. Um, or if we want to, we can have crackers, which I know is not the hell this option. Um, also, there's broccoli as well, fresh broccoli. We've got some spinach. I can have spinach now, so that's a really good thing. I never used to be able to tolerate spinach, but now I can. Um, also, just because it's just easier and overall cheaper, we've gotten some pre-made salads. So we'll have this with our butter bowls or with the chicken salads as well for lunch. And that's pretty much it. We also have eggs that are pre already we already had. And because I'm obsessed with Almond Milk, um, milk Lab, I get myself pre-made. So we've got Milk Lab as well. So that's for my coffees and everything like that. So yeah, that's our grocery haul. Hopefully it will last at least three to four days, but who knows, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, but we've got a few things and we've noticed that we've kind of had a little bit of a break of um, red meat. Um, that's not intentionally, just for budget and everything like that. We're going to go more the white meat and yeah, we'll see how we go on this. <laughs> game and they've shoved it in the mailbox and <laughs> fucking smacked it in there so that's good news and then I come in and I realize that my door's locked so I can't work in that room. Are you seriously I, have we got your keys? No, I'm Well go for the master keys, yeah? I don't have the master keys. Who has Lydia them? Does. Oh, okay, what's well, right? You can visit oh. her. Oh no. I bet you they're here. No they're not. As if as if that would just lock. Well unless the wind Oh, no, because it hasn't been open. Oh, I gotta okay. go. I've actually got to piss like really cool. badly. Hang on. So we opened Salt. it. <laughs> 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 he was so, <laughs> he was so stressed. <laughs> oh god. Mercury retrograde. Has anyone else been feeling it? I'm telling you right now, it's bloody. I'm too scared to close it now. He was only annoyed because he couldn't get his bloody game. That was it. <laughs> Having some chocolate as I'm about to end. I'm ready to douche. I feel like I'm just like living in this jacket. This jacket is the one. I want to sit down with you guys. I want to talk to you guys about what I'm actually doing for this week's vlog. Um, obviously, as you can see, I don't even know if I've even explained to you guys I'm doing this, but I'm doing an F45 workout. So obviously I'm a coach at um, one in Bandura in Victoria and we yeah I just really guided to join the team in this as well and be part of the challenge it's 45 days so my mindset around this is that I don't want to do it from reasons that it's going to be unhealthy for me long term I've done the whole diet thing. I've gone into the whole um, restriction, punishing, eating 500 calories a day, not eating at all, drinking all the waters, going fasting, going vegan, going lean meats. I've done it all, all right? I feel like I've done it all. And 
I'm in a place in my life now where I truly have come to a place of self-love, spirituality, my spirituality, soul searching. I have a purpose in life that I know what I have now. And I've come a long way with getting out of those, I guess, those unhealthy patterns that I've been in and, and ways that have really damaged me in the past. So when I do challenges, it's very hard for me to stick with them because I find that as soon as it starts challenging a bit of not living a life where I just listen to my body and listen to whatever I want to do, it triggers my old wounding around how restriction was like the main thing. So this challenge, however, is going to be very different for me. I feel like I need a bit of a boost when it comes to discipline, when it comes to willpower around food and cravings. And also I really want to challenge myself to, to, to try not to have junk food. You know, I've, I like having junk food at least once or twice a week, but at this stage it's been a little bit, a little bit more. Um, and I like the freedom of just enjoying all foods because of being um, vegan, it really restricted me for four, four and a half years or whatnot, how, however long I went vegan for. So now I've got a different mindset. I do want to see how fit I can get because I've obviously had injuries in the past as well, which has limited me. And I want to see how as being a coach as well that it's really it's just like the best thing to do because a lot of the challenges in the past i've always had to do it myself or i've put it on myself to do it um, but now i'm part of a group and i am one of the coaches so i have to stick with this so you know it just it's going to be a good test for me and i love to document my story with you and the lifestyle story with you um just to inspire you guys and to maybe get you guys motivated to go to f45 as well because f45 is amazing so a good community I'm really excited for you guys to come along and i really want to share my experiences with challenges in general like i don't like the whole negative aspect that it has on people's lives and people's mindset and well-being but i do think sometimes we do need a bit of a kick up the butt sometimes we do need that little challenge to boost us into creating more healthy habits in life because for me it's the junk food sometimes you know it's eating it's kind of gone oh i can't be bothered and got like getting something or it's not having that enough willpower to say actually no v you don't need this you need more salt rather than salt when you get chips like it's not like i eat this stuff all the time but i'm definitely noticing that i just buy into my cravings all the time so this will be a great test for me and um yeah i can't wait to take you guys on the journey so that's it that's what we're done There's, a, there's red versus blue, and I'm blue in our group, so I want to make sure that we win. Um, I'm going to warm up like 15 minutes beforehand because I find that if I don't do that, that I get, I'm more inclined to get soreness um, and my body's not warmed enough. So that's what I'm going to do now. Get some, get the heart rate going, and let's go. Have you got your sweat towel? <laughs> that I'm so... I've had too much caffeine today. Yeah, you've had too much. Alright. Who needs drugs when you got caffeine? <laughs> <laughs> Who needs drugs when you got caffeine? Oh, hello. <laughs> wow, I need a shower badly.
I forget that it is white. I'm like, what's that? And I realize it's white. Nice. We're gonna have tacos. What we're gonna do, having a really simple meal. Tacos, which is so good on calories. We have turkey mints. Oh, turkey mints with taco spice, which is also um, low sodium as well. And yeah, just really simple, a pre-made salad. Keep it really simple, guys. Eating healthy does not need to be boring, but it also doesn't need to be expensive or hard as well. We're ready to eat. Thank ready. you. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> is for me um, obviously with this disaster payment it says that I'm not eligible because I've got Oz study um, which will not be starting till next month I'm not even I haven't got any payments or anything like that I work in the fitness industry so it means I just I'm literally just getting nothing right now um, so I'm just trying to figure out what the best option is for me to be able to get the disaster payment okay Okay, it just won't let me. That that's it. Well, she doesn't even know what to do. I know. No one knows what they're doing. What a maniac morning! God, I have to update you guys later. spoken to you guys today it's been such an emotional day honestly wow I was like full-on crying um, just with like at the moment where I'm not working at all because of like COVID and um, because of this lockdown and today was like some help you we could get from the government and it just didn't go right Mercury and retrograde was at its fullest um, so it, it could, I thought that I wasn't able to have any support um, financially. So it was really, I guess it just really freaked me out a bit. Um, but it came through and thank, thankfully it's all good now. So I've just been taking it easy because today I wanted to get up. I wanted to go for that walk. Um, I did meditate and stuff, so that was good. Um, but honestly, it was just such a really emotional day. Um, you know, just, yeah, just, it, it just, I thought... I wasn't gonna have any support and I thought I was just like I didn't know what I was gonna do like with money and stuff so I was like having a moment of like oh my god felt very human today um, and then obviously Nate picked me up and was like call again keep fighting for for this because you're entitled to have this so yeah it's all good now um, I've just been really relaxing the last couple of hours me and Nate are gonna do a um, podcast episode. It came to me as a channeled message um, before. So we're just gonna do a podcast on conscious relationships. Now I wanna say this, like we're not experts here. We're, we're not, we haven't been together for years. Like, and I'm, I don't share this, um, I don't share our story. I don't talk about, I guess, relationship stuff. Um, as, as a sign of literal, um, we're just sharing our story. We've gone through a lot the last six months, seven months, sorry. And more than most people, what most people go through, more than I ever have gone through in my, in my previous relationships as well. And it's not really about giving advice, it's just sharing our path on so far, our conscious relationships and what that means so i'm going to write up um going to channel in what likes like what what are the like different topics we're going to talk about because you know i've dealt with so much healing in this, in this relationship oh my god everything that i thought i healed came up <laughs> 
you know, family, tr tr um, family wounds, sexual trauma, all this stuff, my past was all coming up to the surface to heal. So um, it's been really interesting. So we're just going to share our story on how we deal when things get tough. Um, you know, we're both very committed to each other. So it's like, yeah, there's been so much, so many things that has happened. Um, and then not many relationships to even look at. So we've just gone through a lot. So I'm just sharing my story of where I'm at in our relationship. So the day did not go the way I wanted to. Um, but anyway, Nate's here and let's go. I don't get it. It's too technical for me. I'll show you. <laughs> no, I don't. It's I like too that. technical. Joking. Like you're talking about all these bloody things. Why does it have to be complex? Why? So we can talk with them talking. Why? <laughs> no, nah, because it means do? that we can talk when that's happening in the background. And then I think you just like, I just want to see it from my own thing anyway. Sure. Uh, I feel, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so what you do. Yeah, can I? Uh, it's really rare that I will be having guests on this podcast, but today we have a very special guest that I do definitely want to introduce to you guys we have gone through a lot and we have known each other for about 20 years so Ooh. i know it makes us sound like we're so old. We're, it's like time. i knew you when you were, I was seven years old <laughs> 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 we've gone through so much healing mm. like and this is where it, it is kind of at a point now where we've really gone through some of the hardest moments yet easy the relationship i have with vanessa is something that's like brand new for me. No, that's no, all don't right. worry no, about all it. Good. All good. All good. Put those little pins up here. <laughs> 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 I guess I want to start off with talking about shadow work and what we have done in our relationships. I guess like um, all organized, ready for F45 workout. We are doing weights today. Is everything got my weights today? It's got all that. Yeah, wish us luck. Hopefully we do well. So I'm making shepherd's pie. like a lasagna layer type vibe. <laughs> <laughs> it's got like a lasagna type vibe. <laughs> How healthy. Yeah, this is bloody brilliant. <laughs> It's Wednesday. Okay. We're going for a walk. I'm wearing this, of course, and then I'm wearing obviously grey today. Um, I haven't gone for a walk in so long. I've been saying like every day, I'll go for a walk, go for a walk. I'm just truthfully not a walking person. I don't really 
I just don't really enjoy walking that much, but we're on the challenge, so we have to do it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Let's do it. out of lockdown um, obviously it's not confirmed but it's a good thing what I need to do now is get my car sorted um, there's been some issues with the car so I need to make sure that I know what's going on so that's what we're gonna do today hello um, I just wonder if I could ask a question um, around just um, how much it would cost to get a diagnosis of my car I can't remember this happened before but I can't remember what happened so I can't remember what I did with it but um, the I think the engine light or that um, yellow light comes on yeah I'm just I guess we're trying to figure out what the problem is come up so I'm not really sure what the issue is so yeah I just want to know what the process or prices were as well um, sort of like I guess as soon as possible um, you know today or anything like that one o'clock okay done awesome all right well, thank you so much for your help. I'll see you then. Thank you. Bye. Oh, you're in the toilet. Is it all good? Yeah, so um, are you able to take me there at 1 o'clock today? Today? Yeah, it's for free as well. I'm under warranty. Babe, I'm performing from 12 to 1. Oh, okay. I don't know what to do. Oh, I, I thought, oh, that'd be perfect because you're going to, you're, you finish then and then, oh, sorry, I totally. You, you, you. No, no, no seriously, I. I Alright, I'll start at um, 11.30 <laughs> and I went till 12.30. Okay. And then. Well, doesn't that show you were meant to do it at 11? I actually really forgot. I thought that would be a good time because obviously um, you didn't have the stream till 2. I, that's what my process was thinking. Well, that's another thing. Oh, let me just come out. One second, babe. Just one second. So you're still shitting? Yeah. She's, she could be here. <laughs> Um, so good news. So I called my car and apparently it's still under warranty. So he's going to look at it for free. Oh, okay. Yes. Ask him when you're yeah, I think so. Yeah. Cause I went, I would have gone at the end of January. I remember it. it still it's still got that issue, but it's not like it's like, you know, dangerous or anything i think it's happened before i just can't remember what the solution was that's the problem i'm gonna write this down next time we're ready to go we're gonna go and get the car sorted <laughs> wish me luck let's go yeah. we are here <laughs> you're still on the huh? thing you're still on this is how much we can't live without each other we're always listening to each other in the car <laughs> outside oh okay yeah so this is all outdoor so it's basically saying no indoor right now right uh, except for this one creative studios are open does that mean that we can't uh, go to the gym you're not allowed to go to the gym what are we gonna do it's a matter of work still mm -hmm. yeah i wonder how long this is for oh hey team not good not great news for us today unfortunately this government has zero clue about the importance of opening our gyms not only for our jobs and livelihood but the mental health of our members stage we look to open next friday well unless they could do outdoor work and that's the problem is your facilities are all indoors that's what i mean but if yeah. they were you would be able to do it crazy love it sucks well it's not eligible to get the government money i know though. like you're actually so that's all right. basically earning um maybe 20 percent less than you would yeah um yeah no good no good news guys can i still stay with you you'll always stay with me Yay. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna listen to had an our episode on the podcast, and yeah, ready to go now. Let's see what we think about it. It's actually a really good one. You'll like it. So we just had. We're just coming back now. I'm just resting for a bit. We just had some um, tuna rice and excuse me salad. Um, now I'm about to watch the ball type because I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it since it's got the new season. So this is on Stan. 
we're gonna see how it goes I can't wait to watch this guys it's been so long anyway Nate's gonna go and play his do his stream then um we're gonna do a workout so I'm just gonna rest for the next couple of hours and yeah enjoy just finished the 45 um and that 45 workout about 347 sorry 342 calories Tonight we're having a bit of leftovers from yesterday. So just got that shepherd's pie, salad, and rice. Yum! Morning! To, good to good, good to good morning to you. Oh, dilla day potatoes. Hello! Good morning. Happy Thursday. Um, it's been two weeks and we have another week of lockdown. Damn. Mm. <sighs> anyway, um, we're feeling pretty sore. I, I literally went to bed last night so fatigued from yesterday's workout. Mm. I don't think I filmed it, but yeah, we did a workout with F45. We've been doing every day pretty much. Well, we've had a couple of days off, but from Monday onwards, we've been doing every day. Oh, wow. So now we're going to do yoga. Yes. I'm having a self-care day. Um, we're going to get... I'm going to have a bath. I need a bath. Yeah, salt bath and you get some salt. And you're sweaty. I'm always sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a new thing. No, no. We're going to do a ritual as well. Um, just to welcome in the new moon in Gemini Solar Eclipse. So we're going to do, do that again. <laughs> Take two. We're going to do the uh, ritual, which is just going to be helping do a meditation or journaling about what we should do with our online stuff. Even I'm kind of wounded by online work. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so we're just gonna take it easy. It'll be a very relaxing day today, and I hope you guys enjoy your day wherever you are. Let's get to it. I don't know how long I've been talking. I think there's been a few days worth of footage. Um, so I'm going to leave this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, we're continuing on with the lockdown vlogs considering I'm still technically in lockdown. Um, cannot work for another week. So another week's worth. And then obviously after that we'll go back to just normal day in life kind of um, weekly vlog sort of style. So... Thank you so much. I will see you guys in the next video and have a beautiful, wonderful and blessing day.